Each week, we bring you stories that document the fulfillment of Bible prophecy in this generation. The prophecies meant for this generation are those that herald the second coming of Christ. This week, we celebrate His first coming, remembering His life, His death on the cross on our behalf, and in particular, His resurrection. It is through His resurrection that we have our assurance that death has been defeated, and all those who place their trust in Jesus Christ can know that they have eternal life. The life of Christ was unique in human history. His coming was anticipated by the prophets, who wrote of this exciting event in detail centuries before the fact. Isaiah 7.10 continues the theme. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, the scripture says. Luke chapter 2 tells the story of the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. Micah 5.2 says the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. But Hosea 11.1 1 says he would come from Egypt. An impossible prophecy, yet fulfilled in the life of Jesus. Psalm 22 provides a crystal clear description of the crucifixion of Christ, opening with the words, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The psalmist then speaks of the agony of death on the cross, the nails that pierced his hands and feet, even predicting the soldiers present at the crucifixion would cast lots over his garments. Except this was written by an ignorant Hebrew shepherd boy 500 years before Rome, at a time when crucifixion was as familiar to the Israelites as space travel. This prophecy takes on even more significance in light of the Mosaic law which dictates, cursed is every man who hangs on a tree. Now to argue this was just an educated guess by a teenage shepherd is patently ridiculous. Sometimes detailing the fulfillments in this generation, students of Bible prophecy are tempted to reach beyond scripture, to allegorize or spiritualize the clear teaching of the Bible to make it fit into current events. We do well to remember how literally the Lord fulfilled His promises for His first coming. God has not changed, and His promises are eternal. The rapture, when Christ returns for His church before the tribulation, is one such literal promise. His literal return at the Battle of Armageddon is another. Jesus meant exactly what He said when He promised, When you see these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh.